In this video, you'll learn how to create stunning web forms in a matter of minutes with the DevExpress ASP.NET form layout control. Plus, see how easy it is to data bind to either a database or objects. I've created a new project here with the DevExpress ASP.NET project templates. Now let's go to the design view, and here I'll add a form layout control, which you can find under the DX Navigation and Layout tab. From the Smart Tag, I'm going to click Choose Data Source, create a new data source, and I'll select SQL Data Source and create a new connection. Let's point to my local SQL Express instance and connect with the Northwind database. Test the connection and click OK. Click Next. Save the connection and let's connect to the employees table and select first name, last name, title, birth date, hire date, and notes. Click next, test the query, and finally click finish. Instantly, the form layout control will inspect our data source and generate a set of input editors for us, using the DevExpress controls automatically so they support theming as well as client-side API. Now let's see this in action. Within a matter of a minute, we've created this form which is using DevExpress ASP.NET editors, and as you can see, they've got great features both client-side and server-side. Now because this is the form layout control, we can further customize this quickly, so let's see how easy that is. First, from the smart tag of the form layout control, I'll choose Edit Layout this time. From here, we can customize it, so the first thing that we want to do is create a couple of form layout groups. Let's create one layout group and a second layout group. We want to make sure they're at the same level, so we'll move the second layout group out of the first one. Next, in the first layout group, we'll add information like first name, last name, and birth date. And in the second layout group, we'll add title, hire date, and notes. Now notes has a slightly larger feel, so instead of using a text box to display notes, let's remove that and add a new item that uses a memo. Let's move it down one and we'll have it bind to the notes field as well. Now the first layout group, I want to rename it to personal information. And the second group, we'll call it work information. Now I'm going to change the column count of both groups to two. As you can see, this has the ability to put two items next to each other. Now the notes field, I wanted to span an extra item, so I'll use the call span and set it to two, so it spans across both columns. Now we'll do the same thing with personal information. We'll set its call count to two, but here I don't want birth date to span both, so I'll leave it on the left side. Next, click OK, and just like that, our form will update automatically. I want to set one more property, which is the width of the memo control. So I'll go to Properties, and instead of using a fixed width, let's set it to 100% to fill the entire area. OK, let's see this in action. Just like that, we have this stunning form that's also data bound, and we didn't have to write a single line of code. All right, but what if you have an object? Web Forms now supports model binding as well. So if you have a set of objects or models in your Web Forms project, then you can bind the form layout control to generate this form for you in the exact same way. Let's see how easy it is. We'll go back to Visual Studio, and I'll clear out the form layout control here. I'll remove the data source as well, and if we go into the design layout, we have an empty page once again. Okay, before we add another form layout control, let's first create an object. So we'll go to our code behind, and I'll define a new object here. I'll call it person, that has one enumeration for gender, and some properties like first name, last name, etc. Now I'll save this, build the project, and we'll go back and add a form layout control to our page. Rather than connect to a data source, because we're connecting to the object, I'll go to the Edit Layout, which brings up the Items Editor, and I'll click this Retrieve Items button. 
This inspects your web project and tells you the list of objects it found in there. We want to select the person object we just created. The form layout control inspected the object and created these editors for it. Let's click OK, but note right now this is simply a class. We don't actually have any data. We only created the object. To data bind this, we need to go back to the code behind and specify in the page load that we want to data bind it. First, I want to create some data, so I've got a method here called getData, and I'm storing it in a session variable called dataObjectName. And it simply creates some values like John Smith and an address. What it's going to return for me is a person object, which I want to send when the page is first loaded. Next, we'll specify the data source for the form layout. We'll check to make sure this is not a postback and call the form layout's getDataSource method and point it to getData. And finally, we'll call its dataBind method. Okay, that's it. Let's see this in action. As you can see, in a short amount of time, we created a form layout control, had it generate the editors for us, and we data bound to our object easily. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.